Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I'm your host, the Honorable Greg B, and today it is subscription Saturday or Monday maybe. Uh, but we got the February 2021 boombox for baseball, the standard version. Uh, we've had varying degrees of success over the full year now that I've opened these, and if you've missed any of those, go check those out up there. Then while you're at it, head on down, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. Hit the thumbs up because you're gonna like this video. Hit that share button, share this with everyone in the world. Head on down in the comments, say hi. Let's talk about some baseball. Uh, talk about the boom box in general, if you want, whatever. How you've done on your boom boxes, what your favorite card is that I pull out of this, whatever you want to talk about. And also check out the links in the description if you want to get one of these boom boxes for yourself or maybe try out one of their other offerings. Um, and also check out the links for my blog, a podcast, and other social media. All right, so yeah, I started opening these back in February of last year. So it's been over a year now. Well, it will, this will be the 13th box, the Baker's Dozen box, if you will, um, that I've opened on the channel. So hopefully we do okay. Uh, we've done, you know, varying degrees of success over that year. So um, hopefully get something cool. All right, let's dive in. See what our packs are this month. Uh, obviously peanuts, and as always, I forgot my trash can, so I'm gonna have to just throw these on the floor. That's fine. I'll pick them up later. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's see what we get. Come on. We got, I think that's gonna be Heritage Minor Leagues. Yep. Uh, then we got, looks like Heritage High Number. Heritage, I'm sensing a pattern. We got some archives, okay, so switch it up a little bit. Uh, then we got Top Series 2. Uh, this is all 2020 stuff, uh, Alan Ginter. So all 2020 stuff, and then we got our Bowman draft from 2014. It's usually always one of these in here. Either 2014 or 2015. Um, I guess the draft classes weren't that great for those. They're not in high demand. And we got a screw down. Uh, I wish they'd go back to one touches, but I get it. I know they've kind of, you know, one touches prices have gone ridiculous up. If you can find them too, they're hard to come by, but uh, the screw downs, I don't like them as much. You need a screwdriver and stuff, like to screw it down and it's, then you gotta unscrew it if you need to take it out. And one touch is a lot easier, uh, but they're highly desirable. So, all right, so yeah, here's our little information. Uh, again, those are the links and uh, other stuff for uh, Boombox if you wanna get one for yourself. This is the February one, like I said, this is just the standard version. They have high end and platinum and all sorts of crazy versions and other sports as well. Um, um hmm that's interesting what is 2020 series update hobby i didn't get one of those was i supposed to get one of those got archives got alan ginter got high uh a heritage high series hmm, okay um i guess we're supposed to get update not series two maybe i don't know but either way that's fine i have there's plenty i have plenty of update i've opened i actually have i don't have much series two honestly, and comparison. Um, but we got, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs. That's about the normal. Let's start off with uh, the Bowman draft from 2014. Um, I, don't even, I, I still have no idea who's in this set, <laughs> but whatever. Let's see what we can get. Courtney Hawkins, uh, Casey Stolis, Stolt, Stoltz, Stoltis, I don't, whatever how you say, it. Chase Vallott, the Chrome version. Oh, <laughs> that's weird. Got Chase Fallot, the Chrome version, and then Chase Fallot, the Chrome autograph version. So we got an autograph, so that's pretty sweet. Um, I'm not sure what the odds are for Bowman Draft 2014 uh, or whatever. Then we got Matt Imhoff, Jesse Winker, and Ryan Ripken. Um, not totally familiar with any of those names, but I'm, you know, I don't know, it's 2014, so it's not like it's totally out of the realm that those guys could uh, do stuff. I mean, I'm sure some of those guys have made it maybe to the majors, and I'm just not aware. I don't know all everything. Uh, all right, 2020, Alan Yeah, I don't know everything. Uh, I definitely don't know everything, but I don't know all the players that have done stuff in the league, I guess. I don't know, especially from that time period. Away. I wasn't really collecting, so I don't even know who like the top guys were at the time. Um but all right, let's move on. Alan Ginter. We got Christian Yelich, Carlton Fisk. He's a Hall of Famer. I'll throw him on down there. 
Ricky Henderson also. It's always weird with these like Hall of Fame cards from like newer products. It's like, yeah, they're Hall of Famer, but it's like, it's just thrown in a set. It's not like it's one of their original cards when they're actually playing. Soroka, Blackman, uh, Alu. We got uh, Thune. Ooh, it's an Allen and Ginter back though. Um, Nick Thune. And then we got a silver uh, Digging Deep Silver. Cool. All right, moving on. We got 2020 Top Series Two um, Series update. I don't. I don't. I, mean, I don't know. I'm still not confused by that whole thing. But um, regardless, we're looking for the Luis Robert. So let's see if we can pull a Luis Robert or something else cool in here. Uh, we got Jack Mayfeld, uh, Drew Stecken Ryder, Joe Jimenez. Jimenez, Joe Ross, a couple Joes, uh, Luis Arias, uh, Future Stars card, Derek Fisher, not to be confused with a basketball player and coach and stuff, Frankie Montaz, uh, Kyle Tucker, Future Stars card, Kyle Seeger, uh, Reese Hoskins, Marcus Semien, we got an all-star uh, Bo Jackson card, it's cool. Uh, Luis, uh, oh, sorry, Jose Trevorino and Tom Murphy running things out there. So nothing too amazing out of there. Uh, 2020 archives looking for all the, uh, cool, all the rookies from this year. Uh, Luis Robert included, but, uh, Jordan and Bo Bichette and so forth and so on. Got Honus Wagner starting things up. I mean, he's a Hall of Famer, right? Juan Gonzalez, not a Hall of Famer. I think he kind of got his name dragged through a little bit of the steroid stuff. I mean, he was he won the MVP, I think, twice at least. Definitely, I think. Back, can't remember if it was back to back. There was like a stretch run where the AL MVP all came from the West. It was like this crazy stretch. But uh, I know he won at least once. I think twice. I think at least twice. Anyways, Juan Gonzalez, Michael ba Baez. Jack Flaherty, Aaron Savale, uh, Jeff Bagwell, Justin Dunn, and John Smoltz. So I guess if I'm throwing Hall of Famers down, I got to throw down uh, Bagwell and Smoltz. Um, yeah, all right. Moving on, we got Heritage. Standard, re regular Heritage. The OG Heritage or whatever. Uh, Luis Brinson, we got Trent Grisham, rookie, and Mar Marcio Dubon. That's a cool one. I'll take that. Uh, then we had James Marvel and uh, Dario Agrazal. Uh, Sterling Marte, Nathan Avaldi, home run leaders of Alonzo Suarez and Bellinger. Zach Greinke, Chris Davis, and Pablo Sandoval. Now let's see if these are short prints. Um... Yes, the Starling Marte is a short print, so that's cool. Cool to get a short print. All right, moving on, we got the Heritage High number. Uh, Luis Roberts, the big card in, in this in this set. Uh, not too much else, um, so we'll see what we can find. Um, a lot of people have been complaining about the quality, and as you can see, that corner is dinged up. For some reason, and I just noticed this opening this, like... It seems like the packs are like, like I don't know, the paper they used is like smaller or something. I, Cause like this seemed like more packly, like t more packly, no, so more tightly packed, I should say, than like the other one I just opened. So I don't know if they like mis evaluated like the size of the packs or something. It's just weird because I know a lot of people have been having the problem with the dinged up corners on, and that you just saw that happen right there. Um, so I don't know. A lot of quality issues I've been hearing about uh, high number. Um, and it just seemed like the pack was kind of tight instead of just, I don't know. But we got Aaron Bummer, uh, Didi, Gregor Didi Gregorius, uh, Trey Wingenter, Shelton Noise. Uh, it's a hot box. Uh, the purple parallel prism, not prism, refractor, whatever these are card, called. Excuse me. And then look who we got. We got Louis Robert. And that's the action variation. Wow, that's a nice one. There we go. 
So we got the the hot box uh, thing, and then we got Luis Robert, the action variation. That's a sweet card right there. Um, I'm enjoying that one. Um, and then we got Frenchie Cordero, Garrett Stubbs, and Jonathan Lucroy, and Seth Beers Bryn. Uh, I don't know that any of these are short prints, but I mean, the Luis Roberts uh, action variation or action short print, so I wouldn't imagine there would be an additional short print, plus the hot box refractor. That was a pretty good pack right there. I know I was complaining about the, you know, the uh, quality control on that, but at least that wasn't on the back, the back card, but the dinged up corner, right? All right, and then we got, uh, see, yeah, these just feel like looser than that other pack. The other pack just feels like super tight. I mean, these only have eight cards in it, so that could be a factor. But the regular version has, I mean, the the low number has, still has nine cards, so I, I don't know. Maybe they, like, I don't know what they did. This seems weird. Whatever. Let's move on. I did well on that pack, so I should quit complaining when I'm ahead. All right. Again, I'm not, like, super familiar with all the minor league guys, especially since there weren't any minor leagues this year. That didn't help matters. Uh, but let's see what we can find. I mean, I know the bigger names, um, but Simeon Wood Richardson, no idea. Travis Swaggerty, okay, I've heard that name. Brandon Marsh, I've heard Tim. We got a Iron Pigs, the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs, make your pro debut um, and have your own baseball. I, know, I don't know how this would even work given the current climate of the world, but um, sure, uh, I'll put the, I'll, I'll, I'll throw that code in and see if I win, but I doubt it. Mark Vientos, Michael Toglia, Grant Levine, and Francisco Alvarez. Now, I don't know if there are short prints and stuff in here. I'm sure there are. I just don't know if there's like a specific number or whatever that, um, whatever. I'll throw that down there too. All right. So, I mean, that's the big prize out of this, the Luis Robert action variation card. Um, I have no idea what that's going for these days. His his cards were super, super valuable, and then they kind of crashed down when he had a a bad ending of his season, and now, like, it's not even baseball season. Well, we're rumping up towards baseball season, so we'll see how he does going into the next year and see what his cards, the value of that, that if they go sky high or... Depending, I mean, it's going to matter what he does to start off the season here, um, uh, you know, coming up, so you know, the next few weeks and months or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely a cool card. I will definitely take that. I know I was complaining about 2020 uh, high number and their, that back corner was dang, dinged up and that pack felt like super tight for whatever reason as opposed to like the regular Heritage. But I don't know. I So I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like they had a lot of issues making that product as it was. Uh, the set list isn't great, but I mean, that's kind of going along with just what happened with the season, I think. Uh, but it's got Luis Robert. So if anything else, you've got to search for that and we nailed it. So, all right. Thank you everyone for watching again. If you want a boom box for yourself, head on down, hit that, hit, hit the link, um, and check it out for yourself. Um, also subscribe, like, and share to the channel, check out links and stuff that I have down for my other stuff. Go check, go watch all my other videos. Go watch all the boom box videos. There's 13 of them now. Uh, go watch the other subscription boxes, all the other videos I post up every day. I'm posting videos. We got an autograph up there too. I forgot about that. I'm not sure if that's a good autograph or not. I, I'm not familiar with Chase Volat, but we were chasing autos and we got a Chase Auto. So I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. All right. Thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe. Have fun. Bye.